people might actually think they're supporting kicking everyone who is not here legally out, which is what the question was. That was Margaret Brennan. We have people here who are perhaps a little bit smarter at understanding the American populace than Margaret Brennan. Lauren Wright, associate research scholar and lecturer at Princeton University. Chris Hahn, News Nation political contributor, host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast. Uh, you've got lots to say. Hold on for a second. Um, <laughs> are we... Is it possible that that's actually what people support is... 62% of Americans want people who are here illegally gone. Yes, and it's also possible they just look at the border footage and they look at the footage like you just cited in New York and said, whatever this is, I don't want that. It doesn't have to be that complicated. People understand this on a very basic level. And the unfortunate part is the crisis is so bad and the policies are so inconsistent that for the first time in 10 years, we've seen the least support for legal immigration. We've seen that number go down. We've seen the number go down of people that think people are here for a good, relatable reason go down to the lowest level since 2013. And so it's really having an impact on a much larger scale than even what you just said, Leland. I could see Americans answering that question that way, but I could also see Americans flip-flopping when you start rounding people up and sending them across the border. And they I, did. Right. And that's what would happen. So I, I think if you ask Americans, do you want people to be here illegally, you're going to get an answer, 60, maybe even more, that say, no, of course not. If people are coming here illegally, they shouldn't be here, they should be sent home, until you start actually sending them home, until they start realizing who some of those right, but there, are. There, there is a visceral anger within America, right? The, the idea of rounding people up and deporting them is not really an American concept. Totally I think if not. You, if you go back to the 1990s and, and polled that, I don't think you'd, you'd get that. There's an anger, and I'm wondering, Chris, if you think Democrats understand it. Swing state voters, who do you trust more to handle the issues? Trump 54-34 on the economy, Trump 52-32 immigration and border security. Biden wins uh, on abortion, no surprise. Mental and physical fitness needed to be president, 48-28. But then you put in where we are in terms of where people are voting, and it's neck and neck, right? right. It's 46, 45, 47, whatever it is. Swips back and forth. Do Democrats realize how lucky they are to be running against Donald Trump? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, oh, 100%. You don't think people realize how bad of a candidate? This guy was talking about sharks in Nevada. Yes, he was. Sharks <laughs> in Nevada. Talking about boats sinking because they're too heavy, because they have a battery. Boats can carry cars and planes and other things, but we haven't figured out how to put a battery in it. Um, yes. He's not talking about cannibalism. <laughs> yeah. I don't think your guy is doing well, a lot better. Whatever. I mean, you know, Biden has some weird stories of his <laughs> yeah, own. Yeah, he does. But <laughs> well, what was the whole thing about, like, you're losing when you're talking to a guy who has a uncle who got eaten by a cannibal? There was a senator <laughs> yes. who got caught in a hot mic scene. No, but I, I think this is a real point, Chris, which is there's, there's basically the only thing that's saving this, and, Lauren, you've studied this, right? The only thing that's saving Democrats from an absolute landslide here is Trump's mean tweets. Is that an accurate statement? And his two impeachments and perhaps the legal cases and all that the all really divisive stuff that, that he slept Bill with. Bill O'Reilly was you know. just talking about it. Yes, the personal stuff, January 6th, yeah, which yeah. is not a personal issue. Uh, yes, all of the Trump-specific uh, things are what hurts him. What Dr. Wright will tell you, and probably tells all of her students, that when you're running for re-election, you want it to be a choice, not a referendum. There's no way this election's not a choice. And the American people remember the drama that came with Donald Trump, and they want nothing to do with it. No, the, the drama's looking pretty good right now right. for a lot of people. Right. Nope. But here's the question. Isn't there drama on the border right now? Isn't that what this poll is picking up? I, I've been in politics a long time. Immigration is never a decisive issue. People could say it's important, and people do think it's important, but it is never the issue that swing voters vote on. Never. And it won't be this year either. Well, you see, now we have tape that we can mark. Mark it. <laughs> Good to see Biden you. Biden easily, uh -huh. unless he falls down <laughs> during the debate. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.